my phone is crappy but the ducks have taken over my log there's holy moly one two three four five six seven eight nine ducks down there eight of them look like mallards males and that one white one there i don't know what that one is maybe a young mallard i don't know fixing his feathers but this is where I did my vlogs in March when it was nice for that couple of days. And right below me is where I'm going to be building a nice little dock kind of thing. I was on my way down there because it rained pretty hard last night. I was, wasn't sure if the wood, the log had gone. And then I didn't even jump the fence because I don't want to scare the nice little duckies away. Very cool. Can't see nothing. The trees are in the way. All right, so I'll leave that project for now. I told Jose, property manager, that I'd fix his fence. That way I can put a door in there. This is where I was talking about. I had to turn that little section into a door. Right there. Cut a path. Run some rope. Maybe a banister or something. Have a nice little landing where that rock is. It'll be awesome. I bet you if I brought out some bread right now, I'd make new friends. Bread is bad for ducks though. So, I'm gonna put that project on hold for a second. We're afternoon. And I'll show you what I did with my RV. I got the lights up so the lights are up now and I've got them pretty much wired all the connectors so I still got to make holes for the side markers so there's two lights that I got to put up but all in all it's coming along I did notice some of the electrical tape is coming off that I wrapped, but that's okay. The connectors are there for all of them, except for the two that I don't have plugged in. And then I've got the wire run over to this corner. The wires that I'm looking for, for the brake lights and the running lights, come out from underneath the frame. They're all wound up and tied up and tucked up underneath the seat, underneath the truck. So I've got to install the back seven lights and rewire that harness and install it. So I'm going to work on that today um, while I wait for Jose. To property manager to come by because he's going to be giving me a bunch of tools like rakes and shovels and stuff um, and I need some equipment to work on his truck which is a project of mine I started and I have to finish very very soon because we are getting our driveway paved and sealed so this project here anybody wants to buy a parts truck let me know I'm sure I can get rid of it for a couple of hundred bucks except for the tires and the plow this truck is going to the scrapper and I've got to take off this assembly 
And in order to do that, I need the wheel lug nut size because I don't have that size. My truck is bigger, so my lugs are bigger. So I get the front tires off. I do a bunch of grinding underneath. I got to grind off, I think, uh, what do I got to grind off? I think six bolts I counted. And this thing will drop right down. I got to cut off these things here. There's two here. There's two on the other side, and then there's two underneath. Uh, that right there. That one right there I gotta cut. So I cut six of those, and this whole beast bad boy should drop right down. And uh, then I gotta move it, and then we can tow this vehicle out of the way because this is going to the scrapper. There's another vehicle over there that I gotta move because when they come in they're gonna clean and they're gonna pave. I guess I don't have to explain paving, right? You guys know how roads work. So, lots of little things, lots of little things. And I kind of already described what I'm gonna do with my truck. I started already grinding some down. I gotta buy a new extension cord. My extension cord didn't survive the winter time. I got a bad connection in it somewhere. Not sure if it's the head or the actual wires cut somewhere. But my uh, extension cord has uh, intermittent power. And that truck is the guy that I'm waiting for. So, I'll see you soon.